When it comes to renewable energy, we're pretty big fans of wind. It's clean, it's effective, but it's not without its shortcomings. But with cutting edge research and development, the future of wind technology is more exciting than ever. If you're immediately picturing a tall structure with big spinning blades, then some of these new innovative breakthroughs are gonna surprise you. We thought they deserved a deeper dive. Wind power is among the most commonly used and fastest growing renewable energy sources on the planet, with 93 gigawatts of new capacity installed in just 2020, a 53% year-over-year increase, according to the Global Wind Report. Today, most wind energy involves massive turbines using giant blades to transform wind's kinetic energy into electricity. Wind farms the world over have made a massive impact on reducing global carbon emissions eliminating over 1.1 billion tons of carbon dioxide around the world. But the wind technology is far from flawless. The intricate, top-heavy mechanics of conventional wind turbines demand high upfront cost, like deep footings for stability. Their complex and sensitive components, such as their gearboxes, require pretty regular maintenance. Then there's the environmental impact. As our good friend Matt Farrell has pointed out on Undecided, Wind turbines do kill birds, but these numbers are wildly exaggerated. Wind turbines kill about 234,000 birds every year here in the US, which is not a small number, but cats kill 2.4 billion per year, according to the US Fish and Wildlife Service. So while yes, there are some inherent dangers to wildlife, you are now equipped to debate anyone using this as a reason why we shouldn't be building more wind turbines. So if it's not environmental considerations, why would we be investing in new forms of wind turbines? Well, you've probably noticed neighbors putting up solar panels on their roofs. Maybe you yourself have some, but wind turbines aren't met with the same levels of adoption just yet. That is because most wind turbines are massive, making them difficult to integrate into areas like cities or individual homes. The wind turbine of today has been optimized for centralized power generation. By making these turbines absolutely massive, they're able to harness large amounts of energy from even very slow wind speeds. Much like a nuclear or coal power plant, the name of the game has been huge amounts of energy in centralized locations. But we've mentioned here on this channel that a theme of the century has seemingly been decentralization. Solar panels mean every homeowner is a mini power plant. Wind though hasn't yet broken free of the centralized model of generation but that might be changing with some pretty innovative approaches to the future of harnessing the free and renewing power of the wind. Vertical axis turbines, or VAWTs, are exactly what they sound like. Instead of giant wings that stretch outward on a horizontal shaft, these turbines have foils mounted on a vertical one. Because they have small blades, they aren't going to be as efficient harnessing the power of the wind, but they are truly omnidirectional, working no matter which direction the wind is coming from. The goal of these types of wind generators would be to create a wind equivalent of home solar panels. There have even been experiments with placing VAWTs around trains to extract the power as the train moves by. One of the most exciting and promising options for residential wind energy, small scale turbines are made specifically with your rooftop in mind. These devices can collect airflow from any direction at any given time, making them much safer for nearby people and animals. The devices are being designed to work alone or in conjunction with an existing solar system. Imagine being able to collect energy from your solar panels all day and then take advantage of higher wind speeds at night or during a storm. Finally, one of the coolest options for harvesting wind energy, truth is we've only begun to scratch the surface of emerging wind technology. The potential of having at-home wind power is definitely something worth exploring and developing moving us closer to sustained power at both small and large scales. One thing is for sure, the answer to sustainable, clean energy is blowing in the wind. When I got the idea to make this video, I was laying on a beach and it was windy 24 hours a day. Just being near the ocean, there's such a difference in temperature, you'll have a nice breeze pretty much the entire day. And to my mind, I kept thinking, imagine if we had like a vortex shedding uh, turbine generator on every canopy or every umbrella or, or, or sunshade. That's what I mean by decentralized power generation. Typically we thought of big, huge, massive megawatt generation stations, but I have a five kilowatt solar system. And maybe as we go forward, it will make more sense for us to have smaller, discrete systems that almost look like artwork 
I've seen some of these really cool vertical axis turbine generators in places like in Europe, where it looks like a pinwheel, it's almost like a piece of art. If we reimagine what we think of when we think of cities and roads near train stations, we could basically convert every part of our urban life into energy generation potential structures. And that's probably the most exciting part about all of this. All right, so what did you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. We always love hearing from you guys about what you think. Also, let us know about future topics you'd want us to cover.